Good morning, my YouTubers. I'm going to take you live to uh, the Bitcoin post game conference after their 4 3 win over Colorado Avalanche last night. I hope you enjoy this. The next game is on Tuesday versus the Vegas Golden Knights at the Scotia Bank Arena. And welcome back to this U.S. Open office plan. Miller just lobbed a message way over Jones's head using some technical jargon. Oh, and Jones brings the heat with a per my last email. Advantage Jones. Looks like both sides are going to need Grammarly to get through this rally. Grammarly is an AI writing partner that helps you sound like the best version of yourself. And that's... Tyler, what's that uh, feel like for you? Hat trick on your birthday and a big win. Yeah, no, that was, it felt good. Um, you know, that was a great road trip for us, you know, collecting eight points and, you know, being able to go home uh, on that note is, uh, you know, is awesome. What's it like for you to play on that power play? What do you, what do you like about how it's clicking? Yeah, um, you know, I feel good out there, you know, just trying to find little holes here and there. And, um, you know, obviously you saw tonight the, the, they'll find you. Uh, you just got to find the openings. Where do you set your confidence level after the last few games here, playing in that spot, but also like your mix there with Domi and... Yeah, I mean, yeah, even before tonight, you know, I was feeling good. Um, you know, I thought I was making good plays and, um, you know, just playing decent hockey and, um, you know, tonight felt good. What's the biggest reason the team's on such a roll right now? I think everyone's just buying in. Um, you know, we're at, a, we're at a point in the season where, um, you know, we got to kind of turn things on and, you know, have a winning mentality and, um, you know, take no games off and try and be as consistent as possible. What do you like about the line, how you guys are working together? Yeah, no, I felt good uh, with, with Domes uh, down the middle and, and Willie. Um, you know, our chemistry is still, still coming. Um, you know, still got some things to work on, but, you know, it felt, uh, felt good with them. So the Avs clearly aren't prepared for some of these passes that you're receiving. Like, are you, are you, are you even at any point caught off guard by some of these, these plays Mitch and William are making on the power play? Uh, the Mitch one, no. Uh, the Willie one, a little bit, yeah. Uh, that was a really nice play. Um, and the goalie was sliding to the other side. So, um, but yeah, that was just really good plays and just got to kind of find the right spot. Best birthday you've had in hockey? <laughs> Best birthday you've had in hockey? Uh, in ho hockey-wise, I would say so, yeah. yeah. Tyler, what's, what's been the key for you to stay patient when the production isn't always there? Yeah, I mean, just try and be positive. Um, you know, keep working hard and, um, you know, get to the net and, you know, eventually things will come. And, um, you know, just trying to slowly build confidence um, and hopefully it all work out. Hockey neutrals kind of one, up in uh, McKinnon versus Matthews. And that sort of thing. Do you kind of appreciate that even though you're on the ice with those guys when they're kind of competing the level that these guys have played at this year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I get to see it every day, you know, with uh, with Austin. But obviously, um, you know, McKinnon's a you know an unbelievable player. Um, so yeah, it's fun. To, it's fun to watch. Um, sometimes it's tough to watch him spin around the zone, but um, you know, yeah, it is fun to watch. To get out of an early hole and win in a very tough building here. Um, well, we didn't get discouraged. I think uh, obviously the third period. The, well, first off, they're a hell of a third team period. Our third, yeah, third period team. There we go. And uh, we knew it. Um, they came out guns blazing. Um, you know, but I thought we at the same time did a good job of defending, um, staying poised, and obviously when we need to, our power play came through. What's it like to see? Uh, you know, you knew he was due. Um, you know, I think the last couple of weeks he's really been playing some great hockey, and um, that line between him, Willie, and Domes, you know, they move the puck very well. Um, they communicate very well. They've done a great job in the O zone and through all three zones. So um, all three guys got a lot of skill. Um, they can make plays, and, you know, Bert's uh, that guy that can get in the grimy areas, and he got rewarded for it tonight. Why is he uh, fit in so well on, on the power play? You guys haven't missed a step with him in that spot. Um, well, I mean, I think he just fits in well because obviously he's still a very elite tipper, um, you know, gets good sticks on uh, pucks. You know, he gets in kind of around that net. He's great at screening the goalie. I think, um, you know, obviously it's pretty tough to kind of be out there, I think, with uh, a couple of us because we always want the puck. We're trying to call for the puck. We want it. And, uh, you know, usually that middle guy doesn't have too much fun. He's just kind of skating around trying to be net front and, you know, get rebounds and tips and stuff like that. And, um, you know, he's done a great job of just finding quiet ice and, 
I'll tell you, I got rewarded for it. Seven game in streak is the longest you've had in, in the NHL with this team. Like, what's the feel like around the team? What's this like right now for you guys? That's yeah, good. Um, you know, I think we're playing very good hockey, all four lines, all three D pairs, and we've had some massive saves from both our goalies. So, um, you know, we're going back home to another challenging team. Um, we got to make sure we're ready for that. But um, it's been good. It's been exciting. Obviously, it's a lot more fun around uh, the locker room when you're winning games. So, just got to make sure you keep doing the right things, um, keep building as a team in here, and, um, you know, when we're doing stuff right on that ice, it's showing. What do you make of how Morgan's come back into the lineup? He was just telling us he's a little nervous. You know you guys are doing well, but obviously he brings a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's only going to make it better for us. So, um, you know, I think that's always kind of the first reaction, though, when you, you, you kind of miss a couple games and the team's still rolling without you, you know. You uh, come back and you're kind of scared because you don't want to mess up the mojo and, you know, everyone's a little superstitious in their own way. But um, he's only going to help our team to get better, and he's done that the last two games or three games. He was just saying he feels like you guys – you, in particular, don't get enough credit for that defensive element of the game. We talk a lot about the offense, but what do you like about the well-rounded nature of the game? Because that's a tough tough opponent you're facing tonight, the McKinnon guys. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously, at core five or whatever you really want to call them, um, you know, they put a lot of pressure on you as a defensive team, and um, they come at you with a lot of speed, a lot of pace. Um, all five guys and guys can make plays and find quiet areas. So, um, you know, I thought we did a good job of trying to be above them, you know, slowly speed down as much as possible. and. Um, but I mean, all four lines did a good job of that tonight. What was, what was the key to this win from your perspective? No, like I think, uh, nice team win. We play against hard team. Uh, not easy trip for us, yeah. But we uh, so happy how we finish this trip, yeah. And we enjoy back home tomorrow. What's it like as a teammate to see Tyler Bertuzzi have a night like this when you know he's had some bad puck luck? Yeah, I know, like it's maybe a tough start of the season, yeah, for him. And it's, but it's more important what he's doing right now. Yeah, he has scored a lot of goals, and we, I'm so like it and so happy for him. What's it like to go up against McKinnon, Ranson in that line? They've been so hot, especially at home. Yeah, these guys play really good, really, really good speed. Yeah, smart hockey. You know, like you. You need to turn around, yeah, and see where Spock go. This guy's probably play really smart. This maybe 90% is the game of Colorado, yeah. This guy's play 30 minutes every game, yeah. It's, it's crazy. This is guy's beast. What's it like around the team? Seven game win streak. How would you describe the feel? You know, I, I don't think about this, yeah. And just if I have a chance to play, yeah, I'm playing just game and. Uh, yeah, and prepared for the next one, next next time. What are you seeing from Mitch right now? He's good. He's unbelievable. You know, like uh, it's not surprise. You know, like I always said in the last season a lot. He's he's play good in a D zone too. Yeah, it's really important for me uh, for a goal is too. You know, like this guy doesn't mean like just a score and this guys play against the best people in a in a, another team. Yeah. It's, it's good for us, you know, like I enjoy playing with these guys, with everybody in this locker room. You're on the longest win streak personally as a Leaf. What, 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 is, what do you like about your game right now? What's working for you? I don't know about this. Uh, like, good, you know, like uh, special for me. I was to get some hard starting season too. Yeah? And uh, yeah, just uh, how I said, game by, by game, day by day, just to uh, enjoy time right now. I don't think it about a lot of too much right now, just uh, focus on the next puck and next game. Morgan, uh, what did you like about how, how the team dug out of an early hole and won in a very tough building? Yeah, obviously it's a tough uh, a tough place to play against a really good team um, at the end of a road trip. So I think we had our hands full, but I think just the way we were able to manage it um, was great. You know, after the first, we got going and, um, you know, we gave one up in the third, but we just kind of you know, kept with the game plan, kept uh, uh, within our structure, power play comes through and it's a huge win. As a teammate, what's it like to see Bertuzzi have a night like this when you know the puck luck hasn't been for him it's, all year? It's awesome. I mean, it's just kind of one of those things. It's, uh, I mean, I think the puck luck kind of comes and goes, and um, you know he hasn't let that affect him at all. Um, he's been playing great. Um, he's been a great teammate. Uh, so to watch him have a great night here um, is, is awesome for our group. From not playing well on the power play. Um, well, score goals tonight. Um, you know he. He has a good knack just to I mean, be either net front or kind of just off the net in, in some open ice. And, you know, I think that was the case here tonight. And um, obviously makes himself very valuable when he's down there, uh, you know, in that area. 
from not playing the cup uh, coming into these couple of games, what are you noticing different about this group? Um, I think just, uh, I mean, last stretch here, we've just been well-rounded. Um, you know, we're playing within structure. Um, you know, late in games that are close, we're, you know, keeping composure. Uh, we're, you know, again, just trying to manage pucks and, you know, it just seems like we've We've taken a step um, just in terms of you know overall growth and um, you know overall structure composure. Um, you know that's nice to see this time of year. What's going through your mind during that shot block and towards your head? Uh, not. Nah, I, you, I was okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's all good. What's it been like through the last couple of games? You come in, the team's playing well. You got yeah. a new partner. Like, what, what's yeah. it been like? I was definitely nervous about coming in because uh, the team was rolling. Uh, so that was a little. Uh, nerve-wracking, so I'm grateful we got two wins. Um, but you're just trying to find your game again. You're just trying to get back into a rhythm. You know, it's not as easy as it seems. Uh, but after a game or two, and then, you know, go home at practice day, um, you know, I expect to be back and, you know, playing like my usual self. And, um, but, the, I mean, the guys have been great, you know, very supportive. And, um, you know, obviously without me, they were they were playing outstanding, so I'm just trying not to, you know, upset the apple cart. What do you see from Mitch right now? I know we talk a lot about Austin, but he's right yeah. there, right there with him. Oh, yeah, he's, he's dialed. He's playing great hockey. Um, you know, again, he's, I mean, he'll, He'll always be one of those guys that I don't think gets enough credit for, you know, how well-rounded he is and the things he does defensively. Um, but in terms of the offensive production and stuff like that, he's been outstanding for us, clearly. How did your team dig out of an early goal tonight find a way to win in a very tough building? Well, obviously, our power play uh, striking like it did in the uh, first period to, you know, cut their lead in half. That gave us hope and gave us a chance. You know, and, I, and I guess just tonight, you know, it's it's a different type of game than than the ones we've played uh, here recently. We, you know, I thought, frankly, for most of the game, I thought we were pretty overwhelmed. Uh, but I thought we we didn't break, you know. And um, while they had a lot of those pushes, our guys were uh, competing hard, blocking shots, boxing out, um, fighting through fatigue. Uh, so that gives you a chance because you don't. You don't allow them uh, to really blow the game open, and then we just stay with it. Uh, obviously, got a great push at the end of the second period that sets us up for the third. And then again, they tie it in the third, but we don't break, we don't panic, just stay with it. The power play gets its opportunity and makes good. So you know, that's a, it's a pretty good recipe to, to beat a really good team on the road at the end of a long trip. Uh, so you know, thrilled for the guys to you know to get to leave here you know, uh, with two points because they've worked extremely hard and played extremely well through this trip. So when we maybe we weren't at our best and, and playing against a very strong team in, in a very tough building, uh, to get rewarded uh, feels good and, and I think it's well earned. Does that say something about the confidence these guys are playing with, that they're able to bend and not break? Yeah, I think so. I think there's just a lot of belief in, in uh, what they're doing, uh, belief in, in, uh, in the group. Obviously, Sammy uh, in net battled real hard tonight and kept it out. Gave the guys hope. It's again end of end of a end of a long trip um, where a lot of things have been going our way. Uh, you know, you're going to need a, a night where the goalie's going to have to make some saves and, and give you reasons to continue to dig in. There's a lot of fatigue here tonight. Some, I'm sure, because of the trip and all, and some, you know, that's inflicted because of the opponent and and. and uh, you know, and the type of game they're playing and, and how they're asserting themselves. So, uh, yeah, just thrilled. Obviously, thrilled for Bert. Uh, you know, he's he's been he's been he's had a lot of scoring chances, a lot of shots that haven't gone in for him for quite a period of time. So to see them to fall in a night like this, you know, it's it's something like that is is why you end up uh, getting the win. What can a game like this do for Tyler moving forward? Oh, I think it could only it could only help. Of course, I think <clears throat> we saw that you know when he scored his first one in a long while uh, before we came out on the road trip. I think mean, that's where it sort of started, and that that builds to one like this. I mean, you look at the the types of goals that he scored here tonight. He's been getting those shots and those chances all season long, and the puck hasn't fallen for him. Uh, so that's why you just kind of stay with it. And obviously, we've increased his opportunity to get even more of those types of looks, but. Um, you know, we're told for him. Those are the kind of goals that we've come to expect from him through his career. And, and that's, you know, I think I talked about it a couple of weeks ago before it even started coming in. Is uh, I, I believe this guy's, like, uh, uh, he's a gamer. Um, and those pucks are going to come for him. He's going to do all that he can to, to come through for us. And uh, thrilled that it happened here on his birthday uh, on a night when we weren't at our best and we needed that type, that type of an effort.
How well, much is getting him on the, on the power play, do you think, helped with his, his confidence and getting some touches? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's helped. Like I said, I don't think he's had a shortage of those types of touches and chances. He's had those in abundance, um, you know, at, uh, at even strength. Um, you know, but uh, I, I'm sure it's all connected and it's all part of it. You can never really put your finger on something like that. But, but uh, either way, I'm just glad that it's it's going. Mm, I'm glad they they go in in a night like tonight where we need them. Why do you think he has fit in well with that top power play? And it's interesting. Maybe it's not always easy to join that group. They played a lot together. They all want the puck. Why has he been such a good fit there? Well, he's he's got the skill set to play the net front. He and John have they're very similar in that sense at the net front. I mean. You know, John is John does a very good job in that space as well, and has for with us for years. So, um, you know, uh, the power play has been outstanding for us all season long. Whether it's John there, or Burke there, but I think there's a very similar skill set and and uh, tenacity around the net. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I think uh, you're, you're thrilled for Burke just because he's you know he's 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 fought it for a while and it hasn't fallen for him. So, for for them to, to start going in is a great sign. Morgan was saying he was a little nervous coming back with you guys on such a great run. What do you make of how he's reacclimated and rejoined the group? Yeah, I think he's done. Uh, I think he's done a good job. Like he's, you know, it's tough to it's tough to come in when the team's rolling like it is. Um, like for like you say, as much as he's played the league a ton and he's a great defenseman and a great player for us, an important leader. Uh, it's tough to come in at a time like that, and it's also tough to miss five games. And all of a sudden, you just kind of jump on the treadmill uh, uh, midstream. So. You know, we've kind of tried to ease him back in and manage the minutes just a little bit, uh, less than what he would be no, uh, what he would be most accustomed to. But some of that's with him. Some of that's just because the other guys have done a great job. But he's an important guy for us, and, and just again the nature of why he left our lineup. Um, I think he's. I think. Yeah, his fingerprints are all over this streak that we've put together here and how the team has played. It started with him, so thrilled that the guys haven't uh, taken a step back with him coming in.